Soma Franco is living in a classroom inside the church. People are bringing her food. They are also doing her laundry so that she does not have to leave the premises. The feeling is as long as she stays inside the church, authorities will not go into the church to arrest her. Franco first came to the U.S. in 2009. Before coming here, she graduated with a degree in psychology in Guatemala. She then began helping students who identified as LGBT. Franco is a lesbian. Because of her sexual preference and her work with the LGBT community, she says she suffered beatings and received death threats. She fears if she returns to Guatemala, she will be killed. So she asked to take sanctuary in the first Unitarian Universalist Church, and they agreed. Porque One of the biggest fears, right, is uh, psychological. Um, I think that I, I fled the country because of all the things that had happened to me. And, and going back, there's a fear of not only what I would go through in my life being an injured, but also what my family would go through. Um, not only am I discriminated in my country for, for my sexual orientation, right, but I'm also discriminated because I was helping with a social movement. Um, and I'm now here in the United States, and I'm being discriminated against for being an immigrant. I'm excited. I feel honored to be part of what's keeping her alive. According to U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, Franco has exhausted all legal options. She lost an appeal in 2013, and she was scheduled to report for deportation to the San Antonio ICE office yesterday, which she did not do. Supporters have created a petition. It is on the church's website. Each signature will be sent to ICE in hopes that they reverse this order of deportation. Mike. Noel Newton for us today. Thank you.